Hi, this is Heather Rodriguez from naturalfertilityinfo.com and the natural fertility community. And today's video topic is antioxidants and fertility. So, what is an antioxidant? An antioxidant is a compound in the body that helps to protect the cells from free radical damage. A free radical is an unstable molecule within the body that can cause damage to that cell and to the DNA of that cell. Now it's important to protect the cells from free radicals because the damage they can cause to both the cell and the DNA can impair fertility in many different ways. If the DNA is impaired, this can um, possibly cause miscarriages, chromosomal issues, birth defects, and other issues as the child is growing. So it's very important to protect the body from free radicals. Specifically for fertility, um, it's very important to protect the reproductive system as well as the ovum from free radical damage. The eggs, the ovum of the body, are some of the longest living cells. So when the body is being bombarded with about 10,000 free radicals a day, some of them may be affecting your egg health, especially as you get older and the antioxidant levels in your body are decreasing. It also is very important for sperm health because sperm can be affected by um, free radicals as well as the sperm DNA, which again can be another cause for miscarriage, chromosomal issues, or birth defects. Okay, so how antioxidants work to fight free radicals is here's an unstable free radical and it's causing damage to cells. An antioxidant such as vitamin C can come along and it joins with that free radical and when it joins with it, it weakens it and that free radical is no longer able to cause any damage. But the sad part is, is that that antioxidant is then out of commission. It cannot, it cannot quench any other free radicals. But there's something really great that um, I will teach you about that can make that free ra that that can make that antioxidant come back to life and can get back to work and get another um, and can get another free radical. And that's called network antioxidants or working with a sister antioxidant. And we'll go into detail more detail with that in a second. Um, so that's why antioxidants are important for fertility. Now we're going to go over the antioxidants that are specifically important. The first one is lipoic acid. Lipoic acid is extremely important for fertility. Um, it is also the queen antioxidant. What this antioxidant can do is it can resuscitate any other antioxidant, like we just talked about. When the vitamin C quenches that free radical, it goes out of commission. Lipoic acid can come along and get that vitamin C back to work and getting another free radical. It can also resuscitate itself, so it's a miracle antioxidant. And another thing is it can create glutathione in the body. It's the only thing that can actually create the most important antioxidant in the body, glutathione. Okay? So the next one is vitamin E. Vitamin E is a very, very important antioxidant for fertility. Uh, it helps to increase sperm health and motility. It helps to prepare men for IVF. There was a study done that men who prepared for IVF by taking vitamin E had an increase of fertilization rate from 19% to 29%. And also, the very name of vitamin E was invented because of a fertility experiment. There was an experiment done in 1922. It was a feed experiment where rats were being fed a diet that was deficient. And they had not yet known what vitamin E was. But the, the rats that were being fed this deficient diet were infertile. And once they added wheat germ into the diet, then they became fertile again. So when they discovered this, they discovered the compound of vitamin E in the wheat germ, and they named it tocopherol. And in Greek, tocopherol means to bear young. So that's how vitamin C was actually discovered, was through a fertility experiment, which they did not know they were conducting at the moment. <laughs> um, <clears throat> The next antioxidant that is really important is vitamin C. This is one you've all heard of. It's a very popular vitamin. But this has been shown to help women who have um, hormonal issues, especially luteal phase defect. This is where the time after ovulation and before your period is too short. If it's too short, the embryo cannot implant and have a healthy implantation and begin to grow. So there's a study done of 150 women. And in this study, all of them had luteal phase defect. Half the participants were given 750 milligrams of vitamin C and the other were given none at all. So the group receiving vitamin C had an increase in progesterone, and then the women who received no treatment at all um, and were left untreated had no change in their progesterone levels. Another study showed that women who were, um, oh, I forgot about that study as well. The women who were taking the vitamin C, within six months, 25% of them were pregnant, and the women who weren't receiving any treatment at all, only 11% of them became pregnant in six months. So, so vitamin C is something so simple that we can do. There was another study showed that, that showed that vitamin C helped when taken in combination with the drug Clomid, glof, um, with Clomid, 
they had a better chance of ovulating, the women who took them in combination. So this is something you may want to speak to your doctor about. We generally don't recommend taking herbs and supplements with medications, but this is something that you will want to talk to your doctor about. Um, in men, vitamin C has been shown to increase sperm quality and protect the DNA of the sperm from being damaged. This can, of course, re help hopefully reduce the chance of miscarriage. So the next one is CoQ10. This antioxidant we've been working with for a while now. This has been in our egg health kit, our prepare for IVF kit, and it's been an amazing antioxidant. This antioxidant is more of an enzyme that is found within each cell that is it, that is a big part of that cell having energy and being able to function at its best. So when, as you age, your CoQ10 levels go down naturally. And so this is something that we need to make sure is a part of our everyday diet. But it can be hard because CoQ10 is mostly found in the heart and in organs. And a lot of Western Westerners don't eat organs. So this is something you definitely would, will want to supplement with. But CoQ10 is fantastic. It should be used by both men and women. Um, the last one is glutathione. Glutathione I spoke about a little bit earlier, but this is the this is the most important antioxidant in the body. And this antioxidant is one of the main components that is responsible for detoxifying the body. So this is a big part of the liver's function. It's using glutathione. When there's testing done and there's low levels of glutathione, that always means there's either a serious disease occurring or that death is about to happen to someone. So low levels of glutathione is not good. We want to keep those levels high. The way you can increase those levels is through using lipoic acid. Um, and that's basically the only way we know to supplement to increase those levels that has been affected. Glutathione may also prove to be important and helpful for people with uh, fertility um, autoimmune issues because what glutathione is able to do is it's able to suppress the bad genes in the body that can cause those inflammatory um, autoimmune issues to occur. So that's something to think about. There's no study specifically for that one, but it's leading to that conclusion. Okay, the last one is, this one is kind of a different one. This is an herb, ginkgo biloba. And ginkgo biloba is high in components called flavonoids. And flavonoids are um, a group of antioxidants that are very important and that are found in a lot of different things, but they're particularly high in, in ginkgo biloba. And ginkgo biloba increases circulation. That is its main purpose. And so in men, this is the number one natural therapy for erectile dysfunction. And in women, increasing circulation to the eggs and to the reproductive system is very, very healthy. It's bringing more blood, more oxygen, and more nutrients and antioxidants to that area. So um, increasing the circulation is always very important, and ginkgo biloba is one of the best things to do that. Okay, so those are the main antioxidants. Now, um, before I was telling you how the free radical would be encapsulated and taken out of work by that um, antioxidant. But we want to resuscitate that antioxidant so that same one can go back to work. So there's something called sister antioxidants. Well, I named it that to make it simple to understand. So each antioxidant has a sister antioxidant that can resuscitate it and get it back to work so, so that you're able to multiply the antioxidants in your body very easily. So for example, lipoic acid can be regenerated by itself. It can also be regenerated by um, basically itself. I don't, yeah. Um, vitamin C is regenerated by vitamin E and lipoic acid. And vitamin E is regenerated by vitamin C and CoQ10. And glutathione is regenerated by lipoic acid. And please remember they are all regenerated by lipoic acid. Okay, so by taking them and using these antioxidants in a group, you're able to help to have the antioxidants constantly getting back to work. They're taking out a free radical and they're getting back to work. So just by that fact of using antioxidants together in a group, just by that fact, you're going to multiply your antioxidants greatly. And you have more antioxidants which are doing different effects in the body that are helping to protect different parts of the cells and different cells of the body. Okay, so for the last two years, I've been searching for something, for a specific product that put this all into one product. So you would take, one, you take two pills a day of it. And it's been really hard to find something that had all of these important antioxidants that was specific for fertility but I found it. There's a product called Network Antioxidants, and it is created by the leading antioxidant scientist in North America, Dr. Packer. And he formulated and put together this antioxidant, and it's personally something I take every day, my husband takes every day. It's a phenomenal product that has all the antioxidants in the correct amounts that you need. And in addition, you would want to, of course, take this to with a diet that is a whole food-based diet that's high in nutrients, that's high in fruits, vegetables, 
whole foods, clean meats, all of that, so that you're getting all of the compounds together in addition to um, the compounds found in your food. Another thing to remember is to try, and that's important, is to avoid free radicals. Free radicals can be caused by um, smoking, drinking, excessive exercise, hydrogenated oils, this is one that's found in a lot of modern day foods, and stress. So do everything you can to avoid free radical damage as well as using an antioxidant that has a group of antioxidants together, but specifically these ones. There's a lot of different antioxidants out there. I didn't even cover, you know, I covered like the most popular and the most effective for fertility, but there's a lot more out there. But these are the ones that you want to use for fertility. Um, so that is my video today for you on antioxidants and fertility. You can find this um, supplement at the Natural Fertility Shop. It's found in our IVF preparation kit. It's found in our egg health kit, our men's kit. It's a big part of our programs now. And I'm so excited to have this available to you and that we found this and that you are now able to take advantage of this. So have a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Natural Fertility community and ask them there. And have a great day. Bye.